a teacher here at ELC and I'm going to give you a tip for a lead-in to a vocabulary lesson. Um, sometimes when we're teaching in particular mid-levels, uh, pre and int or even upper int, we are going to cover a subject that has a lot of uh, standard vocabulary. So for example, suppose we have a unit based on sport, rather than eliciting you know, what's the main sport in England, football, what's the sport in America, basketball, etc. I do this activity. So first of all, I put the students into uh, teams of, say, three, four, five students. And I put up large uh, sheets of paper around the room in different areas where they can't see each other. So here I have three. And I give them a pen each and I send them to the, each of the sheets of paper and I give them five minutes to write down as many words as they can to do with the topic that we're covering. So if it was sport, I'd say five minutes to write down as many sports as you can. Uh, you introduce this as a competition, uh, get them to whisper among each other and get them to go as quick as they can and write as many as possible. When I'm doing this, the thing, one of the reasons I enjoy this as a vocab tip is because the students are teaching each other. And you can hear them saying, what's that? How do you spell this? Are you sure it's that? Is it not this? And it, there's zero teacher involvement at this stage. At the end of five minutes, or when I think they've all done enough and they're running out of steam, I call an end to that and then I call their attention back to me and I ask them to visit somebody else's sheet and they have to put a tick to say we had this word, a cross if we didn't have this word, more importantly a question mark for we don't know this word. And SP if they think this word is spelt incorrectly. So the team in A spot visits B, B visits C, C visits A. They read the words again. Do you know what this word is? No, we put a question mark. Then when they've all finished, we sit down. Now at this stage then I'm really only going to need to review anything that they've put a question mark on and even better I can ask the team that wrote the word to explain which sport it is or to the other students. I can review spelling if A they've noticed it wrong or I've seen that it's wrong and additionally I can go through any pronunciation that I've noticed is bad around the room. I think uh, this is good for such areas as sport, the body, clothes, food, areas like that where there's lots of vocab we just want to get out of the way. And the reason I like it, as I mentioned, is that the students are teaching each other. There's minimal input from the teacher. And within a game of 20-25 minutes, you've really covered all the elementary vocab that you're assuming they know for that unit. Um, I'd like, I can't claim this is my own tip, I got this from a girl called Claire when I worked at Sedai in Ecuador and that was maybe 10 years ago and I've been using this ever since. So there you are, that's my tip for teaching large lumps of vocabulary in one topic. Okay, bye bye.